Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Good morning. Well, last night we were a little tired, so we just picked up stuff for dinner and headed back to the place, ate and went to bed. We're heading to Bear Country, USA. It's kind of a drive-through zoo. So let's get in here and see if some animals will come up to us. We're in the park. We just kind of drive around slowly. Unfortunately, we got to keep our doors and windows closed. So it's not one of those ones where they come up and then you feed them. I guess these are more wild, maybe dangerous animals. It's tracking babies. Oh, this guy's got some huge antlers. Sorry guys, if it's a little distorted, we're in the car trying to film through dirty windows. It's like a big dog. Yeah, they're very dog-like. It looks like Brayley, but why? Oh look, buddy, get him through the trees right there. Where? Oh my god. Oh, here he comes. Whoa, look at the eyes. That one had crystal blue. That one has like... Yellow. Yeah. They are very dog-like though. Those things We're heading into the black bear and gray wolf section. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? So, I mean, according to the sign and according to the sheet they gave us, these are all black bear. But more of them are brown in color than black. But I guess black bear doesn't necessarily mean the color of the bear, but the genetic makeup of it, I guess. Look at the it. Look, it's so cute. <gasps> look at it. Look at it. <laughs> so we just came out of the drive-through area. Now we're gonna come up to the area where you get to walk through, and they have, uh, I guess, smaller, more tame animals. And then supposedly a lot of the babies from those guys over there. So we'll check that out too. Oh, but I'm looking at that one up in the tree, so high up. Mom, look at those two These fighting. Two going at it back there. They're literally standing up and fighting. See, these aren't. Oh, there you go. These aren't trees. These are just branches they cut and come in here for them to play on. It's funny to see how active they are compared to the adults who just kind of lay around all day. So that was a good way to spend a couple hours there at Bear Country USA, huh? You think so? Yeah. What the heck? Bentwick, get out of there. <laughs> He's so cute! <laughs> all right, now we're gonna head to Rapid City, take a look around that city. I think it's one of the biggest cities in South Dakota, so we'll pick back up then. One thing they do here in Rapid City, a lot of the street corners have all the presidents. So here's James Monroe. So Rapid City started in about 1876. They thought it would be a rapidly grown metropolis, but it didn't pan out that way. There was too much going on in places like Deadwood with the gold rush. So while Deadwood and, and areas like that were expanding, Rapid City didn't really grow that much. But then when the gold rush dried up, Rapid City grew rapid and became a uh, big city see that Ben Franklin store over there I don't know if it's one and the same but where I grew up in Maryland we always shopped at the Ben Franklin that was that was kind of the uh, convenience store that was like the Walmart it was called a five and dime but it was a brand Ben Franklin so I don't know if it's one and the same here's something cool and unique we found look at this alleyway painting allowed by permit only Everything will be okay. This is pretty good. It's called Art Alley.
Here's our first president, George Washington. That actually looks like Jimmy Carter. I think that's Ronald Reagan over there. So tip of the trip, pay attention to the gas stations. This isn't the way it is on the East Coast that I'm used to. They have a lot of ethanol-free gas here. Again, we have ethanol-free gas on the East Coast, but it's kind of sold separately as ethanol-free. Here, you're pulling to a gas station and the regular will be ethanol free. So it'll be 15, 20 cents more gallon than plus. And that's your tip of the trip. We stopped by Cascade Falls here. It's supposed to be like a um, hot spring or something. You come here to get into water. I don't know. We're gonna go check it out, see what it's like. This is just outside of Hot Springs, South Dakota. Let's go check it out. We gotta get changed. We brought our swim gear and our water shoes with us. I gotta give Dawn credit because she does a lot of research on all this stuff. She's constantly online and on forums trying to find out things to do and places to go. And this is supposedly considered a little hidden gem. A little scary. Not necessarily the poison ivy, but rattlesnakes. These kids jumping off. Look how clear. It's cold again. Is it cold? It's beautiful though. This right here is so cool. Was talking to someone back there and they said it's about a good 25 feet deep. You can still see the bottom. All right, we're gonna try to jump off the cliff, but it is freezing. Oh my God! Oh, it's freezing! So how was that, Maddie? Fun. It was pretty fun. Cold, but okay. crystal clear, spring water. And jumping off that cliff, it took a while to uh, get the courage, even though it was only about eight foot tall. We did it. I can't even tell oh you guys God. how cool oh this God. is. Look at this. Here's out Maddie's window. Pick up your Facebook. I want to show you something, okay? Look at me, Maddie. Can I almost touch him? Gorge. Oh, there's a big male yeah, going there. Oh. Oh my God, look how big it is. Oh my holy. Oh, it just rolled everywhere. Why is it drooling? I'm rolling up this window. Oh my god, Dad, that was so scary. Mom, it like turned at Dad. I think I have a video of it. I don't, because I put the phone down to drive. Yeah, I think I did too. Buddy, I need you to Oh my god, shh, 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 shh. It's huge. Look, 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 Mom, look. Oh my god! Oh Jesus! <laughs> Holy moly! That was so scary! Holy moly! <sighs> oh my god, that was so scary! He is trying to get that female 
and she keeps trying to get away and he is not liking it. 